I've glued up the right side of the uh, cabinet of this machine and that of course is in in my last video but now I'm going to do the left side and you know I had thought that the left side the right side of this machine got a lot more water damage than the left side I was wrong the left side is actually worse <laughs> and there's a uh, there's a big bubble uh, my lighting in here is not very good uh, there's a big bubble in the veneer and uh, that bubble isn't going to press down real easy and I'm not going to steam it. Hopefully this little extra light I turned on will improve it. Uh, I should have a floodlight on this really. But anyways, I'm going to start gluing up this side. I'm still working on the base uh, that I took off and uh, hopefully I'll make some more progress on this thing this uh, during this week. That's about it for now. I'm finishing up with the uh, gluing of the left side. I've got the bottom edge glued down and I glued the front edge of the left side down. That's all glued. Remember I had this big bubble in the middle? <laughs> That's what these weights are for. And uh, what I did was I squirted glue in. The bubble had a crack in the top of it. It was split. So in the split I squirted glue, as much glue as I could get underneath it, kind of pressed it so that it would squirt the excess out, wiped it off, did it again, added a little more glue, did the same thing, and then I taped it over, and now I've got it weighted down. So we'll see how that bubble comes out. But what I did, as you see that piece of wood there, that uh, takes the weight down to the bottom part of the uh, horn, and here's another piece of wood and of course and that takes it down to the uh, horse that this thing is sitting on uh, otherwise if I wouldn't have done that this top piece might have stressed I possibly could have got away with not adding weight but you know these clamps are heavy and these are all on the edge so I really thought I needed that piece of wood in there to kind of just <laughs> reinforce underneath Hopefully when the glue is dry and I take these heavy weights off and stuff, that bubble will be almost unnoticeable. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, I have this bottom kind of take it apart now and if you remember from my last video how this uh, lamination that was on here uh, was pretty soft it was all bubbled away I pulled that off this is oak and it's it and it's in pretty good condition so uh, and these glue joints are all loose uh, this all has to be glued back together tightly and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some thin plywood and fit it in here after these joints are glued so it'll be cut to fit in fit it over this and uh, uh, you can see where the I don't know if I got the light right but let me try it over here there were these wedge pieces, uh, the, the corner uh, braces that are missing. Uh, one, two, three, three on each side, those are gone. So I'm going to have to come up with another way to uh, kind of brace this up. Um, and of course with that piece of wood, uh, the lamination being gone from here, uh, this doesn't fit in the slots. Uh, let's see, again light but there's the slot that this goes in there's a space now so I'm gonna have to deal with that 
if I if I were a really good carpenter and I had carpenters tools and equipment a shop a carpenter shop I do a probably uh, could do a, a more elaborate job on this but I don't have a, a, a carpenter shop I don't think I'm that good of a carpenter I'm just going to do the best I can with what I've got to work with here you wouldn't believe all the spider nests that at one time that were in between these two pieces of wood this piece of wood and then that thin lamination on it there were nests in there <laughs> they were uh, uh, egg sacs I should say they're all dead they were gone but uh, the spiders really enjoyed this uh, machine quite well actually they, they they made a lot of nests in there so that's how it's going so far Okay, now what I did was, you remember that uh, this laminate that was on the bottom of this was totally rotten. And I pulled that off. What I did was, I, I was going to put some plywood in here, but I decided not to. I've got these two pieces of oak and they're, they're glued and screwed down to this. I took the frame apart put it back together, re-glued, these are all, all these corners are glued black back in place. This thing is very sturdy now. I thought I was going to have to wedge this in when I glued it because with that piece of laminate missing it's thinner than it was, but to be honest with you, everything is so warped on it <laughs> that it was a challenge to get it back together and in fact this corner here, there's a this corner here there's a, uh, a biscuit uh, splice in there I had to use a rubber mallet all the way around to pummel this thing back into place it's together now and it's all glued and it's it's pretty much done as you can see and here it is flipped over I had to do some sanding on this to get the edge to match up with the bottom of the cabinet this this piece was was warped ever so slightly and this is hard rock maple so when I uh, do the staining on on this machine I'm gonna have to stain the top coat <clears throat> color the top coat dark so that it, it it to try to get it to match up in color this is the only thing that's really gonna show when you open up the side doors where the uh, record albums go I'm gonna just uh, steel wool this a little bit and top coat it all this fell apart this veneer was all warped up this was all warped all, all this was off fell off practically I've pieced it together and glued it as good as I could with uh, clamps and weights I think I did as good of a job on this base as anybody with my skills could do as I said before a, an expert carpenter would probably do better but this is as far as I'm getting with the base. I thought I'd introduce my two assistants who have been helping me with this project, Pepper and Bo. Bo is the black lab and Pepper is my white boxer. He's got black specks under his skin <laughs> or his hair. They've been helping me. They've been picking up pieces of uh, paper towel that I tossed down and uh, shredding that up and uh, uh, probably eating as much glue as they can find <laughs> but uh, these are my two assistants that have been very uh, very important in helping me with this project uh, look for part three